everyone. I just got to the race shop. Going to go and wish my dad and my brother good luck. They're both racing Bridgeport tonight. Sadly, I won't be there. I am heading to Port Royal to see the Lucas Oil late models and do some PR, little representation for DMI. So, pretty bummed. I won't be at Bridgeport to cheer them on, but of course, had to come here, give them a little pep talk, wish them good luck. Shh, don't tell them. I am pretty pumped to go to Port Royal though. That track, bad freaking ass, let me tell you. We've made it to our first stop of the trip, getting some steak and shake and ice cream. Yes! Yeah, a little bit. Definitely. You should probably wait until I get the cheeseburger all over my face. Oh, yeah. Second stop, we stopped at Cabela's. This is Johnny. We got bullets, we're gonna go hunt some rabbits. And... That's not what I said at all. Oh, what are we doing? Huh? We're just there buying ammo. Not to hunt anything in particular. We're gonna go shoot some paper. Yeah. Paper? Paper. We made it! For Royal. Yeah! <laughs> in our matching hoodies. Tell me how you really feel. Put my hood up. <laughs> I am here with my second favorite sprint car driver, Freddie Raymer. What are you doing here? Uh, just all the good guys are here tonight and it's a night off. And just come out and see what happens with these guys. It looks like it should be a good show, but uh, look forward to it. We're here with Freddie Jr. who just won Friday night at Williams Grove. And also, um, we have an article on him in Speed Sport, which will be in June's magazine. So, Freddie, what brings you here? Uh, come to see, we follow these guys all the time, so come to see some different racing and plan to come up here in a couple weeks and see what the track does. Just have some fun. He's probably going to hate me by the end of the night, but...
there number two of the night, getting my energy drink for the ride home because probably won't be home until about one in the morning. Okay, I got mac and Cheetos. So that's a Cheeto with mac and cheese inside of it. So excited. Don't be nice. I'm really hot. So I was pretty pumped up that Rick Eckert won. The race was fantastic. I called my dad on the ride home and I was like, guess who won? And he goes, Eckert. And I go, how the hell did you find out? He's like, who else would you be excited that won? No brainer. <laughs> I may not have mentioned earlier, but my dad started 12th in his feature at Bridgeport and first lap got wrecked. So that really, really, really sucked and I was pretty bummed by that. And I think my brother was supposed to start roughly around 18th. Well, I think something happened in the driveline and he didn't even get to start the race. Definitely wasn't a good night for the pouches, but we're going to regroup, rebound, kick some ass next time. Well, clearly I didn't cover all the racing. That's not what this is about. It was all behind the scenes and basically watching me eat all kinds of food. It was nice though, getting to go to Port Royal and switch things up a little bit, see some late model friends that I don't usually get to see. So that was a good time. Also, shout out to Johnny for being my sidekick for the day. Drug his star little behind off of his couch and we had a great time. Well, I had a great time at the track, saw a lot of people, had a great sidekick, and had a good three hour karaoke sesh on the ride home to get me home. Now it's about quarter to two in the morning, gotta get a shower, go to bed, wake up and wash my father's race car tomorrow, so better get crack -lacking. Thanks for watching guys, until next time.